July is going to be hotter than ever because you get up to $50 off any smartphone at Appalachian Wireless. Two-year agreement required. Better service, bigger savings. That's today's Appalachian Wireless and East Kentucky Network Company. It was an emotional day in Floyd Circuit Court today as the Ronald and Loretta Wright murder trial wrapped up when the couple pleaded guilty. Ronald Wright pleaded guilty to murder, first-degree assault, and first-degree wanton endangerment in the 2013 shooting death of 54-year-old Famer Hulbert. Ronald's wife Loretta pleaded guilty to facilitation of murder and assault and first-degree wanton endangerment. I'm a little relieved that it's over and hopefully them two uh, maybe not in this life you know they uh, punished for what they done to my brother friday afternoon and all day yesterday attorneys and the judge met behind closed doors after waiting for something to happen the court was silent again this morning as family members and friends waited for attorneys to hand the case over to the jury Instead, just before lunch, Ronald and Loretta Wright entered their pleas. We've had plea negotiations and things all the way through, but it's not unusual sometimes that you get to the trial and when the defendants have to be there and actually see the jury and for the first time actually hear from some people other than their family and their lawyers and things kind of saying what they want to hear, they, get, they have to hear the other side of it and it, it can be kind of a wake-up call. Ronald and Loretta Wright appeared in court for the murder of their brother-in-law, Famer Halbert. Halbert was killed at his residence on Halbert Lane in McDowell. Ronald Wright will serve a 25-year sentence. He will have to serve 85% of his sentence before being eligible for parole. Loretta Wright will serve a 15-year sentence. She will serve 10 years in prison and 5 years on probation. They will both appear in court on October 26 for formal sentencing. Reporting in Prestonsburg, I'm Shelby Still for EKB News.